What's going on everybody? I'm KDog618 and today we are playing Deliver Us of the Moon. There was a time when resources seemed endless. But in 2030, the great energy crisis began. With hardly any resources left on our world, global powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. The answer was found in Helium-3, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the Moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. And so, in 2032, mankind colonized the Moon. Spearheaded by the Lunar Council, the WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process Helium-3. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. No energy. The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonists was lost. Without earthly resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to the moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, they've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseeable, but the mission is clear. Deliver us the moon. Hey, there it is. resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil, which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to reassess their forecast of the equatorial desert growth rate. Ever Christina, are you there? Yeah, let's do it. Ground control to Fatuna 1, this is Claire. Please confirm radio contact. Radio contact confirmed. Make your way to the launch platform and prime the rocket for liftoff. We have to launch before the dust storm hits. It's a little better. Alright, how do I get out of this room? Aha. Damn, why am I so far? Why? It took us four years to get her ready for launch. But you need to hurry. The dust storm will hit this area in a few hours. If we don't succeed now, the Fortuna mission will be over for good. We oh, it's, it's all right, just more stuff. There we go. I uh, didn't want to take the elevator anyways. Figured I should get a workout in before I go to space. way up to 
to the facility. The control center is located on the top floor. There you can time the rocket for launch. Movement's a little wonky. Like, it's kind of weird. It's been five years since we last received a microwave power transmission from the lunar colony. At first, no one believed it would be possible to transmit energy from the moon back to Earth. But the WSA proved the skeptics wrong. Just like you will, when you get the MPT back on the Oh, God. Thought that would be it. I don't like this. I don't like no. Three five four eight. Oh man. natural light in here. This building once functioned as part of the WSA, but it's been our home for many years now. I still can't believe you'll be leaving here for good soon. The desertification of this whole region won't take long after the storm passes through. So I just need to find the zoom. Ooh. I'm just gonna look really hard. I just have to get to the top floor. This is spooky. I need three plausible causes for the MPT blackout. One, the transmitter of peace and space station. Claire, there you are. Come on, we're celebrating in the other room. Everyone is looking for you. I need to go over this one last time, Maria. We've been over it before, multiple times. We're good. Come. It's time I thought I was just cut off, like, my recording by someone trying to contact me, and I was really upset. Once he set his mind to something, I could never convince him either. You're just as stubborn as your father. <laughs> Probably the only thing we have in common. I just don't understand why he didn't restore the MPT connection. He invented the damn thing. And now it's just us. No one else is even trying. If we fail... Remember what I told you. If it can be done, then we're going to do it. That's all we have to focus on. Go over your notes. Join us when you're ready. All right. I don't know how to... Do, do I just pull this? Nope. Yeah, power reboot. Power is important. Calculating new storm ETA. Claire, we have a problem. The storm is approaching faster than expected. Way faster. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've been working too long to give up now. We're also going to need a what? Close both hydrogen fuel valves? How? Uh, maybe I do have to go out and do it out here. Yup.
Oh, cool. And I know exactly where this leads. This leads down to the room where I just had that staircase that I had to move out of the way of the door watch. Oh, I'm so good. I like how I have no intention of communicating that the ladder broke or anything. I'm just dead quiet. Nice. Now I gotta get over there. Oh, I'm being timed? Oh my god. Could have ran through the middle, but I didn't. Well, timer went away, so I guess I'm good. Rocket navigation system online. We're nearly there. It's just like your training. You can. Oh yeah, good thing I don't remember my training. Good. Gaseous oxygen vent arm retracting. Vent arm safely in place. It's holding, but barely. Try to go easy on the equipment. Ah, uh, it's one of these fucking puzzles. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. 
and did it. Once I'm in the purple. Alright everybody, I'm actually going to leave this episode of Deliver Us the Moon here. And we are about to descend onto the moon, I'm pretty sure. If you liked what you see, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for sticking around until the end of the video. And as always, I will see you next time.